In this video, we're going to be using vectors to determine weight. So in this example, a force of 600 pounds is required to pull a boat and a trailer up a ramp inclined at 15 degrees from the horizontal. We're supposed to find the combined weight of the boat and the trailer. So let's take a look at our picture and let's take a look at what exactly we've been given and what exactly we know. This really is just kind of like a physics problem. So we were given an applied force, the 600 pounds. So right here, we have this applied force vector of 600 pounds. So our magnitude of our applied force here. We also have gravity. So this would be our weight and our gravity right there. So the weight is actually given to us by the magnitude of our gravity or the force of gravity. We also have this normal force and that's right here. So basically this is from the boat pushing down on the ground and then the ground equally pushing back on the boat. Now we know that we can move vectors around to help make things a little bit easier for us. So I'm going to take my applied force vector and I'm going to move it down here so that way I can create a right triangle. Okay. My applied force. So that's my 600, right? So I have I've created this right triangle, right? So here, call that BC. That's what we have on the picture, and then we've got our vector here, which is our 600. That's our AC. So we know that's 600, and then we have our gravity right there. Right, so we have our right triangle, but we need to know what our angle measure is right here. Now, the picture gave it to us, but let's talk about how exactly we know that. So if we take a look right here at this right triangle that I've drawn um, in green, um, we can kind of look a little bit more into that on this picture. So if we look at that triangle that was created there, we've got our point W, and we have some point that we're calling D, right? That makes this right angle with our ramp, okay? Um, now we've got this given to us that the ramp was 15 degrees, right? Which means that my remaining angle is 75 degrees, okay? Now we've got this normal force that's coming down like that and that created a right angle right there all right so if that's 90 degrees and the other angle is 75 then this leftover piece right here is 15 degrees all right and that 15 degrees is what we're finding right there and so that's how we know it's 15 degrees so we're trying to find the magnitude of our gravity, which is our weight, right? This is what we're looking for. This is the combined weight. That's what we're searching for. And so we can use some trig to help us with this. So we have our opposite side across from the 15, and we also have the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the sine here, okay? So the sine of 15 degrees equals our opposite, which is 600 over our hypotenuse, which is our weight or our magnitude of gravity. So if we're trying to solve this by itself, we're going to need to multiply both sides by the force of gra magnitude of the force of gravity and then divide by sine, right? So we multiply both sides by the force of gravity, which allows us to eliminate the force of gravity on that side or the weight on that side. And from there, We'll divide both sides by the sine of 15, so that way we're able to get the force of gravity by itself. So the magnitude of the force of gravity by itself. We're going to get 600 divided by the sine of 15, and when we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get that the magnitude of the force of gravity is approximately 2,318. And so here we can see that the combined weight of the boat and the trailer is 2,318 
pounds.